Why can't you remember the words while speaking? Think about that conversation you had with your colleague or with your friend. They said the words that you were even struggling to remember. Why did that happen? You have spent thousands of hours mugging up, learning the meanings of the words, building your vocabulary, but then when it comes to using them in your conversation, the words just don't come. Why does it happen? Well, in today's lesson, we are going to look into the reasons why you can't use the learned vocabulary in your conversations and also find the solutions to it. Welcome to Fluency Goals. I am Mandi, and together we'll achieve our goals to fluency. So consider this when you learn new words, you are building your vocabulary. Now in general, your vocabulary comprises of two kinds. One is active vocabulary and one is passive vocabulary. Now, what is active vocabulary? Active vocabulary consists of all those words that come to you effortlessly in your everyday communication, in your everyday conversations, and you don't have to think much about using them. Passive vocabulary consists of all those words that you have learned the meanings to. You know their meanings when you read them or when you listen, hear somebody else. You can understand the meanings, but when it comes to using it in your own conversations, those words don't come to you easily. Now the big question arises, how to convert your passive vocabulary into active vocabulary? Here are some of the steps that you can take in order to activate your passive vocabulary. Step 1. Whenever you come across a new word, write it down in your vocabulary journal. Now maintaining your vocabulary journal is just like having your own dictionary. But this dictionary is at your own level of learning. So when you come across any new word, you jot it down, write it down in your journal, look for its meaning. If you have to try searching for a similar meaning in your native language, do so if it helps you in understanding the usage of the word better, do it. But then I would suggest instead of that, you learn the word by using it in context. So learn the context in which the word is used. Now what is context? Context are the situations in which the word can be used. So try to learn about those contexts. You can use online dictionaries for that where you'll get the context of the word to be used. You'll learn the collocations of the word. Now it is quite possible that one word can be used in more than one context. Consider for example the verb express. Now express can be used in order to convey as a verb. So I want to express my gratitude. But it can also be used as an adjective like express entry, express tickets. So it's important to learn the words in the various contexts that they can be used. When you come across a new word, you look up for the various contexts that it can be used in, then try to form two or three sentences using that word in the various contexts and write it down in your journal. Step number two is to note down the collocations that go along with that word. Now what are the collocations? Collocations are the group of words that often go together. These group of words are the groups of adjectives, verbs or nouns that go along with the word. Take for example, admire. Admire means to respect, to like, to approve of someone or something. So it is a verb and it has to be used with some object or some noun or pronoun. I admire this music. I admire his courage. If we take its noun admiration, we can use the noun admiration with the verb like express, convey or show. I want to show my admiration. I wish to express my admiration through this gesture. So you have to remember the collocation, the, the verb that will go along with the noun admiration. Let's take another example here. The word is abstain. Abstain is a verb that means to refrain from using something voluntarily, to hold oneself back from doing something. Usually it is the bad habits. Abstain is to be used along with the preposition from. Remember 
abstain from so this is a collocation that needs to be written in your vocabulary journal along with two three sentences it's recommended that women abstain from alcohol during pregnancy the noun form of abstain will be abstinence so whenever you are going to talk about the habits or the activities that you are going to refrain yourself from that you are going to hold yourself from you will use the noun abstinence along with that activity name alcohol abstinence is recommended for lactating mothers you have to use the activity name before the noun form of abstinence or if you wish to use it after the noun abstinence the activity name you have to insert the preposition from abstinence from alcohol is recommended so it's important that you learn the collocations along with the usage of the words it's like ready pieces that make it easy for the use of the word in the conversation you can use the online dictionaries to find the collocations my personal favorite is cambridge dictionary and collins dictionary you can use these to find the collocations of the words that you learn now the next step after you have learned the word is to use it consciously write a paragraph using that word create some conversation where you have to consciously use this word two or three times now if you do not have anybody with whom you can converse you can create the situation in your head and describe it aloud and using that word make sure that you use that use the new word repeatedly that way it gets embedded in your mind now i know it takes a lot of time and effort but trust me even if you learn just one word a day it's going to be much more beneficial than learning all the words in the bulk especially it works for the beginner or intermediate level learners once you have learned these words you have maintained a journal and you continuously keep upgrading it remember to revisit this vocabulary journal so that the learned words are reinforced in your mind learning a new language takes a lot of effort and investment of your time there are no shortcuts to learning a new language effectively i hope that this lesson added some value to your learning if you follow any other method and it is working for you don't forget to share it with us in comment section it helps in building an effective learning community do leave your comments and if you like this video give a like and do subscribe to my channel to keep following for more such videos thank you so much